So, rolling now, the Airbus A400M, the Atlas. assembly plant in Seville aboard the very distinctive outsized A300 Beluga freighters. Britain makes the outer wing box and flaps courtesy of the Airbus facility at Filton in Bristol. And it's an aircraft with impressive carrying capacity. We saw the Swiss Air Force Cougar displaying earlier on. It could carry one of those in its hold or indeed an NH90 like that of the Belgian air component on show in the static. It can take two links, two Apaches for example, all very impressive. Not for the person that sits opposite of you. <laughs> As you can 
see it can just maneuver with apparent abandon, can't it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, thanks for it. Fly-by-wire, enormous flying control surfaces, uh, and uh, a wonderful flying control computer. But this isn't just for air shows, this has tactical applications as well. Uh, that maneuverability will enable it to fly through valleys to uh, deliver special forces by day and night, and also uh, in the event of being bounced by fighters, it gives it the opportunity to survive and prevent the fighters from getting a firing solution upon it. Yes, all the best airlifters have uh, had a good degree of agility for her. Uh, no exception, even the venerable old C-47 for Dakota um, could, in the right circumstances, be uh, really manoeuvred quite, uh, yeah, quite in quite agile fashion. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and going back 50 years with the Balkan, uh, even uh, the bomber aircraft of that size would give the Lightning a run for its money. Indeed. Well, now coming in for a short field approach, we'll see reverse pitch being applied on the four TP-400s. The aircraft in the hands of a crew from Airbus Defence and Space, captained by British test pilot Anthony Flynn and his co-pilot for the displays this weekend, Eduardo Curiel Tormo. <laughs> They're flying MSN-6, the uh, sixth of the development aircraft. And it's not often that you see a large aircraft that size going backwards under its own steam. Do go and see the Atlas C1 from Prize Norton in the Static Park. It's open for visitors this weekend, and I'm sure for many of you that'll be the first chance to go aboard one of these mightily imposing aeroplanes. The RAF Air Mobility Fleet really has undergone a significant renewal in recent times. Yeah, absolutely, and a significant investment as well. Um, if we were talking about this five years ago, uh, we'd be talking about Project Future Bride, but Future Bride is now. Uh, we now have a world-class deployment facility uh, as a hub uh, for global operations for the Royal Air Force, the Army and the Navy. So they're completing its sequence, the Airbus A400M. <laughs> 